Hey everyone, this is Jerry Hall with NCSI bringing you a how-to video, how to add services, add categories to those services, and then finally add subcategories to your service category model. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit more, and then CI service, which you may find in additional workspaces, recently viewed or workspaces, or you can just go ahead and start typing it. Once your service module has opened up, then you can either create a new service or modify an existing service. For this example, we're going to go ahead and create a new service. We're going to give our service a name. This will be a mobile device service. And at that point, we can assign what team is responsible for this service, who owns this service, what type of service, the status, a category, what hours of operation, target availability, and then a few other fields at the bottom. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to just set the uh, required fields. So our type of service, it can either be a business service, a technical service, or both. Our statuses, um, mainly the only status that we are concerned about is production, which means that it's live, it's being used within the modules. Um, and if it's not in production, then any other status will take it out of that view so you won't have it as available selection when you go to choose a, a service on a record. Category could be any one of these options here, or these could be updated to be more suitable for your organization. Uh, we're going to call this one network device. Our hours of operation, so you have a predefined hours of operation for your company whether that is the 24 by 7, 9 to 5, or you may have a custom weekly hop. Um, maybe it's from 7 in the morning till 5 at night. Um, so you can go ahead and set that hours of operation. Uh, if you want to, you can assign it to a team. And then you can also give an owner. And then now our service is ready to be saved. Now that we have this new service, we need to add categories to the service. So from this service view here, there's a little arrow at the top right that you can click and we can get to our service desk category. From there, we can either link existing categories that are out there, or we can create a brand new category. Uh, anytime I go to create a brand new category, I always check first to see if it's in the options here. I can do a quick search. Let's say I wanted to add um, uh, connections. Well, we have a connection failure. That's not exactly what I was looking for. So I am just going to go ahead and cancel and create a brand new one. Let's say connections. Now I have a category associated to my service. Now, if I want to add a subcategory, this is completely different. We're going to go up to more. We're going to look for subcategory. And then when that workspace opens up, we're going to go ahead and create a brand new subcategory based on our service that we just created. Based on the category that we had uh, linked to it, we're going to create a brand new subcategory. Now I have a service, a category, and a subcategory. So when I go to my incident module or any module that's using that methodology of service category, subcategory, I'll be able to go in, I'll be able to select my service, I'll see my category and my subcategory. So that is how you enter a new service, add a category to the service, and add subcategories to the service. Thank you.